What's going on guys, Game with Josh here. Today I am bringing you a video on the Elgato Game Capture HD. Uh, this is for the software and maybe for the actual Elgato itself. Um, basically if you have the Elgato software as you can see I have right here. Um, you can see it's linked up to my PS4 at the moment. But if you look down here, move this up. If you look down here it says commentary and then just says live and then these here. But before there used to be a live stream option right here where it says 640 times 480p 30 basically what you need I've looked all over YouTube, I've looked on Google, I've looked at a lot of things and I could not find a fix for this so I actually went and emailed the Elgato staff myself not re not expecting a reply but I did get a reply um, and they did tell me what to do um, see if it works and it did work so let me just show you guys what you have to do um my background will mess up i'm not sure if yours will if it does you just resize your image or whatever your background image is then you just resize that so let me just show you how to fix it what you want to do is you want to right click then you want to go to screen resolution and then as you can see i got mine, mine uh, 1024 by 768 and what you want to do is you want to have it set at either 1920 by 1080, 1600 by 900, or 1280 by 720. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see what one I got, and let me just click one up. 1280, 720, 12. There we go. So the only one that I've got is 1280 by 720. So if I click OK, apply, uh, keep changes, then click OK again. As you can see, it all messed up because it's not, it's not the way I set it up is not designed for this. But then what you want to do, just want to go back to the Elgato software, you want to close it, then you just want to simply reopen it, just like this, uh, ignore that, and if it says that you just click task manager, uh, then you just click more details, close it again, and then you should be able to open it. <coughs> and uh, here we go, as you can see here. Let's make this a little bit smaller. There you go. And as you can see here, it's connecting to my PS4 at the moment. There you go, there's my PS4 back screen again. And look, you've got these things here. You've got the live stream option, which is right here. So if you just click this, then you will live stream. But first, what you need to do is go over. Let me just delete my account from there. Then what you want to do is you want to click the add button here. You want to choose what account you want. Say, I'm just going to use my YouTube. Um, obviously not gonna be. Obviously you're not gonna see my emails or my passwords, so I'll blur that out so you can't see that. Um, then you wanna just when it comes up on this screen, you just wanna click allow. And here, there you go, and it's now linked. So as soon as you click this, then it will live stream straight to your YouTube. Um, if you wanna find the link, then you can just click that there. And it'll open up your browser and it'll take you to your live streaming option on your YouTube. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want a live stream. But here you can see it's going to it's gonna play or render in 720p30. Which is okay. But input is that there. And that's how many I got, right? So that's what it's going to stay at. So if you found this helpful, then please make sure you leave a like as it does really help. And also if you're new to the channel... Make sure you subscribe as we're only three subscribers away from 600. I uh, just want to say a massive thank you to all of you guys that's helped me get there. And I hope to see you in the next video. Peace. Out the motherfucking Porsche, I don't want it if that ass don't see like a horse. I be ballin' on these niggas, got me feelin' like sports. Dash got so much.